Family, friends and supporters of a charity worker from West Hampstead who's being held in Iran are tonight singing carols outside Downing Street in the hope it will move the Prime Minister to help secure her freedom. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe was on holiday visiting her family when she was arrested and sent to prison for five years, accused of trying to undermine Iran's government. Her two-year-old daughter, Gabriella, is stranded in Iran with her grandparents. Olivia Kinsley is in Whitehall tonight for us. Olivia. Well, usually Christmas carols are sung in celebration, but tonight they're being sung here in desperation for a mother from West Hampstead to be allowed to return home from Iran. Nazanin Zahari Ratcliffe has now been detained for 242 days. Her young daughter, as you say, Gabriella, is also there, her passport having been confiscated. I want to have a chat now here with Richard, her husband. First of all, when did you last speak to your wife? I um, spoke to her actually on Friday, so she was allowed a quick call. Um, um, she was still very low, very down, um, was back in solitary confinement, so, so pretty glum. Um, but yeah, she was, still, she was eating again at least. And what are you hoping that tonight will achieve? Well, it's the chance to bring everyone together to, to celebrate Christmas. To, I mean, Lasney would have loved to have been here. Um, and just to sort of, you know, in a sense, remind everyone that there's all the family and friends and care that's out there. Um, hopefully it will be on televisions in Iran and hopefully she'll be able to see. Um, so that's the hope. And I want to talk to you now, uh, Professor Homer Hoodfar, because I understand you were recently detained in Iran and that you actually met Nazanin out there. Yes, I shared a cell with Nazanin for one night and I saw her several times during the uh, when we were transported to court and back. So we were in the same det detention centre. How is she? Well, uh, she was obviously very distressed at that time uh, when they told her she has uh, so many years of imprisonment. She talked about her child. And the night that I shared with her, she was talking about how she had planned to come back and be re uh, reunited with her husband and they were planning to have another child. And all of her family plan was kind of disrupted because of this um, uh, detainment. Well, there are lots of people here tonight who know Nazanin, but also lots of people who don't know her and have just come here because they've been moved by her story. People here like Kirsty Hinton, you've come along, you don't know her. Why have you come? I don't know Nazanin, but I am a local mum. And for anyone who's a mum to not be touched by this story at Christmas, to be separated from your child, that's why we're all here, to spread the word about her and her, the injustice that she's suffering. Well, we understand that in previous months, the Prime Minister, Theresa May, has met with the Iranian government to try to raise this case. But the family obviously don't feel like they're making much progress. I suppose it might be some small comfort to Nazanin to know that all these people are here tonight singing for her. But what her family and she as well really just need is for her to be allowed to come home. OK, Olivia, thank you very much.